Hey there everyone, this is Danielle checking out the latest character in Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, he's known as That Man, and he's quite an important character uh, from the series. Uh, he's basically been the main antagonist since more or less the year 2000. <laughs> he was kind of mentioned in the first game in 1998, but you didn't see him and like at all until the second game released in 2000 and like how updated versions in 2001 that kind of thing uh so the first glimpse we got of him he's this figure in the middle here uh in the cloak who is basically unseeable we don't really know anything about him beyond the fact that he's in there <laughs> and yeah uh basically he's the guy responsible for creating gears he's called the gear maker uh as well as being called that man uh, both of which are kind of silly, because, uh, Soul Bagger over here does know his real name, uh, and does use it later on, but for years, all we had was that man. <laughs> uh, and so, like, his design evolved a little bit. Uh, for example, this is a, style, a design we saw a lot. Um, his cloak is a bit fancier, as you can see. Uh, and uh, this is how he looked in Vast Edge, or at least the concept art for Vast Edge. His actual design in Vast Edge proper was a little bit different. Uh, you got to fight him, as you can see. It says THE MAN, which is kind of funny. Not THAT MAN, but that's how he did it. Um, but yeah, for Guilty Gear 2, uh, we got this, this um, nice little artwork as part of the material collection. Uh, this was coming out, ugh, I think 20, 2011-ish, maybe? I, I can't remember offhand, but... Yeah, this is, this is, um, on the left here we have Frederick Balsara, also known as Soul Bad Guy. In the middle is Arya Hale, and on the right here we've got that man. Uh, and they were all working together to create Gears, uh, as it turns out. It wasn't just the Gear Maker doing it, they were all doing it together. Uh, and this is more or less the first time we saw any of Asuka, and this was in, like, supplemental material that not everyone looked at. This isn't part of a game, so not everyone even saw this. Um... But yeah, but, uh, but then his first, um, then we saw him um, in Exard, he actually took his hood off for the first time, and he was a pretty catboy twink. <laughs> um, we also found out his name, uh, which is Asuka. Uh, I'm not totally sure how to pronounce it, because I've only seen it like written down and stuff, but yeah, his, his name is Asuka Arcruz, uh, and he is really pretty, and he's a cat boy. <laughs> uh, and then after appearing in Exarb with his foot off, uh, he shows up again in Strive looking kind of like this. Uh, the cat ears are actually gone, you can't quite see them in this pic- see that they're gone in this picture, but he has lost the cat ears for some reason. It's weird. Um, but basically the main takeaway here is Asuka has been a major character in the series for over two decades and has never once been a playable character. Uh, until now. Uh, this announcement video went up, uh, like a week ago now, uh, announcing that the new character was coming. At first it looked like this, which is more or less what we just saw. Uh, this guy. Slightly, slightly different outfit, but more or less the same look. Uh, but then it sort of glitch, show us this character instead. Uh, so we're not quite playing as Asuka himself, we're playing as, I guess that's pronounced Asuka R Sharp? Um... Basically, Asuka, at the end of the storyline in Strive, he's on the moon, uh, and he's, like, podcasting from the moon. It's, it's, it's great. The main antagonist is just doing a podcast on the moon. It's, it's fantastic. Um, but, like, he's sent, like, this doppelganger of sorts, uh, who has a slightly different colour scheme to do stuff for him on Earth. Um, and that's the character we're gonna play as. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be pronounced Asuka R Sharp, or if they're just gonna say his normal, like, normal name, or what they're gonna do. Uh, but we're gonna just dive in. Uh, I've got no idea how he's gonna play, because, yeah, he's never been playable before. Uh, first time ever. Uh, I have, I have take, gotten a couple of glimpses here and there of the, like, intro to playing this character videos, and he looks complicated. Uh, so I'm just gonna try to muddle through, and we'll see how we do. <laughs> first we're gonna jump into training mode, so I'm gonna just try some buttons. There he is in the corner there. Of course, um, I immediately got a mod uh, to put his cat ears back on because obviously he needs to have them. Uh, 
this update, it released, uh, let me see, it's about 9 o'clock now, it released maybe an hour, maybe two hours ago. Um, there is one mod on Game Banana for this character, which has his cattiness, it's the only mod, <laughs> just immediately went off. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, it sounds like they're not pronouncing the sharp as a sharp. Aska R. Aska R. Kruds. Yeah, that, that, that's the normal pronunciation of, of his name, not the sharp symbol. Okay. Um, along with him being added, there's also a 13th colour scheme for everyone. Uh, which is like a 25th anniversary of the series kind of thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've also got... Uh, th this colour scheme was, was isn't new, but I'll show it off anyway. There he is. Uh, this one, I think, was an extra DLC you could get that gives everyone this, like, Tron Lines kind of look. Uh, this one might have been a DLC too, I don't remember. Uh, then we got a nice dark looking one there. Black hair. More pink. There's a bunch of different schemes. I'll probably just go with the regular one, but you get the idea. Uh, interestingly, uh, you can see uh, his left eye is covered by his... Uh, his rose cross thing. It's supposed to be his right eye. Uh, if you look at the picture at the bottom under my face, where you can't see it, uh, it is supposed to be his right eye that has that on it. Uh, in the same way that Sin's right eye has uh, an, a, an eye patch. Uh, but I think, I think for Sin, yeah, you can see it is his right eye. Uh, but for Asuka, they've set it up so that when he's facing this way, it's going to be the incorrect eye, which is a bit strange. Uh, let's just dive in and... I'm curious, does it... if I put him on this side too... Okay, so it's always his back eye, which I guess makes sense. Um... Like... The, so, so you can see, like, the eye he can see with closer to the camera sort of thing. Uh... Kinda like the way, uh, Biken's arm is always the one that's furthest away, so it doesn't block her, her profile and stuff when you're looking from this side. Um... It's just a bit of an odd choice, uh, considering, yeah, Sin is in the same boat. He's got also got something covering his right eye, uh, but with Sin they did it the correct way around, so I don't know. It's a bit strange. Uh, yeah, let's go with Sin. He's fun. But yeah, you can see it's now his left eye because he's been flipped. Usually facing right is the default direction for a character, though. Uh, so it's interesting they didn't do it that way for Asuka. Uh, let's just, yeah, dive in, just have a little look at how he plays. Oh no. Apparently this music actually does uh, eventually play the lyrical part of this song, uh, if the load time is long enough. I've never had that happen, but it, it, it isn't an instrumental. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, we've got our standard stuff. Okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna just swap. Have a training dummy. There we go. Okay, so pretty standard movement. Uh, I'm not noticing anything too special there. I don't have like a triple jump. I don't have additional air dashes, anything like that. Uh, let's try a couple of buttons. That's my punch. Where is it? Hang on. Oh, I didn't. I didn't check the layout of my buttons. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, button settings. That one, kick with that one, punch with that one, kick with that one. Ah, uh, that's good. Okay. My kick is actually like a swish with my arm. Uh, and my punch is like... I hold up my book and the book puts out a hand and, and pokes you with it. <laughs> uh, slash is this. I summon a big old sword out of my book. And heavy slash is this one. I've got a bunch of pages everywhere. Uh, what about crouching? Similar moves. Uh, about dust. Oh, neat! Make some cubes appear. That's fun. Okay. Uh, it's a like man list. Okay, so I've got command normals uh, 6p, 6k, and 6h. Uh, so yeah, I've got a normal anti air. Multi-hit low attack. Oh, I like that. Overhead attack. 
Okay, so I've got a 6H overhead, uh, same way as Bedman does. Uh, and yeah, I have mana, which depletes either an Asking to lose his health with a certain special move. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, quarter circle forward into any of the attack buttons uh, will activate a spell corresponding to that button. Okay. Uh, quarter circle back. Bookmarks a new spell for that button. Right. Recover mana. Down down P or K or S. Oh. Okay, so P P doesn't deplete anything. Uh K depletes tension. S depletes health. Uh interesting. Change test case. I don't know what that means yet. <laughs> uh let's see. P or K or S after down down HS. Overdrive's high compression submicron particle sphere. Okay, so that that's just like a projectile. Uh that that's easy enough to understand. This move changes the spells in every slot. Okay. We need to know how the spells work, I think. I think I can Yeah, I have a separate menu here that tells you what my spells do. Uh there are a lot of them. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a really complicated character. So, I think the way it works, if you look uh, at the bottom of the screen here, uh, you can see I have like the number 26, and then I've got four little cards. I think those are the spells I have available. Yeah, you can see I've just I've just um, done a quarter circle into a kick. I've used up one of my spells. I don't know what they all do yet, so I'm just kind of guessing here. Okay, so I've used them all. Uh, how do they get replenished? Do they... Hmm. I might need to do something to replenish all my spells. <laughs> I think bookmark might be it. It sounds like I can flip backwards, uh, quarter circle back into a button. Yeah, that looks like, looks like that's how you get new spells. So you can draw spells from your deck like that. Oh, this is going to be really confusing. I assume that purple bar is my mana, uh, next to the number 22 there. Uh, what was it to recover mana? Yeah, you can see I did the recover mana input, and yeah, I got mana back. Oh, this is a complicated character. <laughs> You'd have, to, you'd have to remember what all of these little icons mean in order to do this effectively. Oh, this is going to be a thing. Uh, dash. Is there anything mapped to taunts? Uh, I want to check what my taunts are, but I don't think I have anything mapped to that button. I also haven't really heard um, Asuka's song right now. I'm talking over it. It's called The Gravity. I assume it's really good. Because they always are, but I haven't heard it really yet. I'll have to look at it in a moment. Okay. So let's take this into a real match and see what I can do with just improvising. Um, I'm getting the impression as a character you'd have to lab for a very long time to play him effectively. Um, but we're, we're not going to do that, we're just going to have a quick look here and see how we do. <laughs> I'm also curious to see... Um, in his arcade mode, who his assist and boss are. My money is on the assist being Jacko Valentine and the boss being Sol, but I don't know that yet. Uh, because yeah, I haven't played with this character at all, so. Interesting. Okay, so, um, you'll recall I had like 13 character, like color choices for each character. I can't change uh, colors, I can only pick color two for Asuka in arcade mode. I wonder why. Is it because of the rose is red and so that's it's trying to be like Asuka rather than Asuka R sharp? Maybe? It's, it's not really the same color scheme though. I'm curious to see what's going on here. <laughs> uh, let's just let's just jump in and see what his arcade's about, I guess. Oh! Oh my assist character is me! Oh, okay. Oh, 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 I see what's happening here. 
So I'm playing as the real Asuka, and I'm fighting, like, my doppelganger. Okay. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts, heaven, or hell. Repeat after me. I'm bored. Maybe a bit of a problem. Definitely the most complicated of the, of the characters uh, that have been added in the season pass that I've been trying to play the arcade modes of. <laughs> Like using my basics is working out okay. Jacko in that case. Soul would make more sense though. So I guess we'll see how we do. I don't really reckon know what icons do what because that's not something I'm going to be able to just ground and remember immediately. This was a failure. We're not meant for such I love his voice, by the way. Creation. I agree. But that's not news to you, is it? You are me, after all. I suppose. But if so, shouldn't you already know my intentions? Hmm. That's strange. We should be identical. But we're not. I'm chattier than you are. You made me that way. And I can't make heads or tails of right and wrong. It's... <sighs> vexing. Vexing? Ah. Huh. I forgot to reconfigure your real-time settings. Sorry about that. Your personality formation and experience points are out of alignment. <laughs> you know... You don't seem like the type to destroy all human life. You don't have to laugh. Come with me. God, what nerds. <laughs> I really like Oscar. <laughs> I don't know how to play him very well, but I, I really love him as a character. His design is so good. <laughs> and that voice, oh, he sounds so great. Oh, I love him. I feel like there's a good chance I'm going to at least drop to hard and instead of extreme if we progress here, but society. So we'll see how we go, I suppose. On themselves, they blame the beasts, heaven or hell. Wonderful. Hey, Chaos. 
want to make your broadcasts a little more interesting. <laughs> oh yeah, Oscar's podcasting. <laughs> it's my show. I don't need to explain my intent, let alone add extra drama. Oscar versus Chaos. I mean, Chaos is themed for this fight, which makes sense. Let's rock. Bang. So worn out after each fight. What a sweetie. <laughs> His grab is cool. Get rid of me. It truly seems that you're without virus. Whatever motivates you may eventually lead us to ascend. Asuka wins. I really love his voice. It's so perfect. What's next? Hey, Podemkin. I'm still on extreme route, and I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot... I did honestly expect Jacko to be the assist because Asuka's the one who builds Jacko. Like they they have a pretty close relationship. Maybe she'll be the boss. Maybe I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Push yourself to your very limits. Um, could you say that again? I was lost in thought. <laughs> He's so autistic, I love him. And we get Pumpkin's thing. Recharging a little, a little fiddly to input. 
you're just, you go top down twice, which is kind of weird. How rude of me. I haven't an ounce of fighting spirit. Asuka, Asuka. wins. Okay. The other twink. <laughs> I'm kidding, there are so many twinks in this game. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven or hell. Let me show you why they call me like that. Um, could you say that again? I was lost in thought. <laughs> Asuka. Asuka versus Kai. Duel one. Let's rock. Hey, okay, well played. Saw that. Thank you. Oh, I must say what I call you what man. That was a close match. I mean it wasn't really. Duel <laughs> two. Challenge me again whenever you like. Nothing. Duel one. Let's rock. I think his tape looks really cool, by the way. Embrace the light! Ride the lightning! Ow. That was a lot closer. Is that all you have to offer? How close that was. Challenge me again. Yeah, I will. Like. I will immediately. Let's do this. Okay, I need to use a faster attack, obviously. Oh, 
have no idea what most of my spell icons mean is part of the problem. <laughs> Ow. Let's that was a fine bout. I just got like, like I don't know how to play Oscar, and the difficulty just really spiked at stage four. I kind of, kind of muddled through up until now, but I don't know if I can beat. I don't know if I can beat Kai. It won't drop down to hard difficulty until I can beat this with a hard loss, so I'm stuck on extreme. <laughs> The difficulty in this game is strange. Oh my god, stop humbling me. That was a fine bout. Duel one. Let's rock. Uh, Art, I see you. I see you. DA clock for the holy order. Stun it. I may need to try to lose on purpose earlier so that I want an easy difficulty. <laughs> I don't really know 
what some of my stuff actually does. Either. Probably still. Challenge me again. Duel one. Let's rock. Ultra Arts for the Holy Order. Offering card You this. I'm not at me. Why are you so easy to play, Kai? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, my problem is I'm running out of mana because taking damage reduces your mana. And then I just can't do anything. Because I can't cast any of my spells. Challenge me again whenever you want. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Challenge me again. <laughs> Duel one. Oh, jeez. Let's rock. Yeah. 
Run out of mana and then you can't do anything with the souls you've got. This card's theme is really cool. I already hear it over and over as I keep fucking up. It's that big a deal. Me I'm running out of it very quickly. Who dares to end up in our corner? I fight myself first. If I lose this fight, or if I lose a round of this fight, in any case, I drop to normal difficulty. It might be a good place to start considering I don't really know what I'm doing. Or at least want to see who the boss is.
Now, or our overall loss. What happens then? Here we are, just the two of us in a galactic palace built for 400. Nothing wrong with a change of scenery, eh? I can't say I see the significance. No. Well, I beg to differ. Otherwise, I might never learn why you created me. Um, well, uh, about that. The Valentine sisters, formed by the universal will, were perfect beings. I hadn't seen such immaculate synthetic life since the Frasco specimen. So you wanted to try it for yourself. At least you're honest, if ethically bankrupt. Let me guess. Do you resent me? No need to worry about that. Unless you resent yourself. Now, why don't we kill a little more time? Chris. Okay, so we're on normal right now, because I got my butt kicked. Who would be more manageable? Should let me say the boss. Which is the same regardless of your difficulty, so we can say who it is. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts, heaven or hell. Oh. A fool who doesn't fear me, huh? Oh, yeah, don't watch that. Um, could you say that again? I was lost. Beating people sure is hard. It's far easier to destroy them. <laughs> Asuka. Asuka. Oh. Wins. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Hey, Giovanna. society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts, heaven or hell. survival. 
Asuka versus Giovanna. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Sure is hard. It's far easier to destroy them. Hey Jackie. Okay, so you're just a random character. You're not the boss. Sorry. I guess the boss was probably Soul, but see. Yeah, like my, my initial guess was that like your assess character would be Jackie. And you'd be Oscar, you'd have that rapport, but I knew that they guess this works too. Society. I'd probably have some unique interactions, maybe, if we'll see. They blame the beasts, heaven, or hell. Incognito? It's okay, I won't tell Frederick. Thanks. He should hear it straight from me. That is a unique interaction, definitely. Asuka versus the popcorn. Bells in down. That's just kind of squishy. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, how small the world. Oh, it's shorten my lifespan. A goober. Just silly faces. <laughs> Add analysis and interpretation of results to my list. Asuka wins. Okay, so they do have unique interactions, but I, I have to assume the final boss is going to be Soul. That just makes sense. Hey, Ramlethal. Mankind knew that they cannot change society, so instead of reflecting on themselves... Oscar isn't as close to the other Valentines, but doesn't know them, so there might be some unique lines, but I guess we'll see. What makes you unique? Improvisation may trump a perfect plan, but I'll take these are generic lines. 
Asuka versus Ramlethal. Duel one. Let's rock. Apart. to destroy them. What are we doing? Stage six. It's Otto. I should check what mods are up as Otto. <laughs> I understand I've given a lot of characters ponytails. I think he'd look good with one. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven or hell. I'll show you a darkness deeper than death. Improvisation may trump a perfect plan, but I'll take my chances. Asuka, Asuka. versus Zato. Duel one. Let's rock. I need more. And then the most of you is now this.
slap. Hey. Okay. Seven, then the boss, which is it's got to be Soul out of the people that we haven't it's seen yet. It's time to destroy them. Sense. Unless it's another Oscar, it seems unlikely. Then you'd have three Oscars all at once if you had the assist, which would be a bit strange. Hey, Nago. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Go dead. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts, heaven, or hell. My name is Nagori Yuki. Let's begin. Quiet, please. I'm calculating my chance of survival. I guess that was generic again? Asuka, Asuka. versus Nagori Yuki. Duel 1. Let's rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Nago's regular theme. It's called What You Fight For. Close. You often hear Coral instead because he's usually the boss, but this is his own thing. Oh, with time. I've got a wolf stick, but it's a little quick now. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you can... If you do bookmark when the page is already there, you sort of chuck it out. You don't replace it. Okay, boss time. It's gotta be soul, right? Gotta be. Nago was a possibility because he was the general boss of the story to a certain extent, and Eno would work too. So Soul feels like the most likely. Oh, nope, it's Vasco again. <laughs> Alright then. Interesting decision. I wonder if it does vary by some difficulty then. Because normally it doesn't. It's all, normally the same person in the final fight, regardless. But... The beasts, heaven, or hell. That is not what I was expecting. Welcome. Me again. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Asuka. And now the music is the boss music. Ready for an explanation. The words I'm about to say are also within you. Uh, sorry. This Asuka was based on myself. Everyone I've fought so far was a simulation of you. I get that. But if this is a version of me, I know he can talk things out. Right. But Frederick told all of us what it means to fight. In other words, our emotional experience has exceeded our vocabulary. If that is your anger, does it really call for an answer? This is so cool. Not what I was expecting, but cool. A little 
confusing having three of me on the screen. I'm only controlling one of me, but you know. <laughs> Settle the score. Does our fighting have any meaning? To be honest, I'm worn out and didn't quite enjoy hitting myself. But isn't this what you, I, I mean we, wanted? No. It's a means to an end. He decides if we got what we wanted. Who? Me? <sighs> I don't know what the purpose is, but I do know one thing. All versions of me left the conclusion up to others. You made me. You knew this would happen. I respect you for it. You know what this means, right? Sure. It took a long, strange trip to get there, though. Let's call it a day. Next time, I'll give you my real message. Was there oh God, what a weird arcade mode! <laughs> I know um, Eno and Chaos both have a similar sort of thing going on, with copies of themselves that they're hanging out with, but... I, I think Ask It kind of took it to a new level there. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really bad at playing this character. It would need a lot more practice than I've gotten in this, like, little bit over an hour of just experimenting. But I really like him. <laughs> I love his voice. It's it's perfect. And his design and uh, his little interaction with Jackie that was, like, blink and you'll miss it, but it was so cute. Oh. And... I'm just, and I've got to listen to the gravity. I'm, I assume it sounds amazing, but I haven't properly heard it. So I'm going to go listen to that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's Asuka R. Cruz. Cruz? The, the new guy. That man. <laughs> he's in the game now. Uh, he's playable. And he's really, really complicated. Uh, let me just look here for a second. Who dares to enter the mayhem? Okay, Zasho is also a one-star ease of use. I wasn't sure if anyone else was. But yeah, you can say Ask as one star. Uh, because yeah, he's a very difficult character to use. And I guess that's why it locks your colours, because there's going to be multiple other Askers and they want to make sure that you're distinguishable. I still had trouble telling us apart because there were so many, but... Oh dear. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, um, I really like this new character, and I suck at playing him, but that's okay because he's cool and I like him, and I'm glad he's in the game, <laughs> and I think he is adorable. <laughs>
and probably with practice I'd be less bad at playing him as well. Oh, Atonement of the Gear Maker. Oh, sweetie. Really, you, you, you're not the only Gear Maker. This guy worked on it too, remember? And technically not this gal, but a person who is now in this girl's plural system and looks a lot like this girl. <laughs> The, the three of you, you, you did it together. You don't have to atone on your own for this. It's okay. And I mean, kind of worked out. Like we got, we got gears here. This one, this one's pretty, pretty happy. And this one seems to be managing okay. Uh, and Dizzy's not in the game yet, but you know, she, she's pretty great. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Asuka's in the game now. Uh, and I need to listen to his song, because I haven't heard that yet, but playing him is interesting. Um, it's really difficult for me, because I've got no idea what I'm doing, but with more practice that will make more sense. Um, I do think, uh, let me just go back to training mode for a second here. One of the things I was finding kind of confusing, uh, I'm just gonna go into training so I can just demonstrate. Uh, basically the way your, um, L slots, or bookmarks, or whatever they're called. Uh, let me see here. Alright, you can see you have four of them. They're arranged in the same way as the four buttons. So you've got punch, kick, slash, heavy slash. That's the way, that's the way the four of them are. Uh, but they don't, like, you don't see this... Uh, this, um, input display during normal gameplay. And my buttons aren't arranged that way. I I've got, uh, punch, uh, punch and kick, like, vertically, and then slash and heavy slash also vertically. It would be nice if I could rearrange those, um, spell cards to match my actual button layout. I don't think there's an option for that. Seems unlikely. But I imagine, like, a lot of people are going to have it like that, because putting those four buttons in a row is just not going to normally be the thing you do. Even if you have, you know, a controller like this where you could theoretically do that. I suppose it would be taking up more screen space if you made them vertical, which might be a problem, but... I don't know, it wouldn't be a lot more. Um, alternatively, like, using colour coding to indicate the pink one, the blue one, the green one, and the red one, but... The colour coding appears to already be used to indicate types of spells, so... I don't know. And the other alternative is literally having uh, PKSHS somewhere on the screen, like like it is right now during regular gameplay. And the other other alternative is just learning that that's the order they're in, and, and just remembering it because you have to learn. Uh, you're gonna have to learn um all of this stuff anyway, right? Oh, interesting, okay. Okay, so these are, yeah, I, I had noticed, I think it was this one that I had. Um, I, I'd noticed I used that, it refills all my slots. Um, it's called Bookmark Full Import, apparently. <laughs> Bypass Filter Gravity? Then the Hide of Asuka's Jump, oh, okay, so when I place the star, uh, it makes my spells bounce like that, and it also lets me jump higher. That's what that does. Okay. Okay, and low pass filter gravity does the opposite. And you can tell when it's in effect because uh, Asuka gets that, like, ring around him. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's a, there's a number of staves here that do different things. Uh, okay. Okay. Slows down spells. Okay, because I noticed placing the staff was a thing, but I didn't know what effect it was having. Staff that draws in certain spells. Oh, interesting. Oh, that is very advanced. <laughs> and then the reverse, you can place a rod that pushes spells away. Howling Metron, yeah. I think I was using that one quite a bit. That's, that's a common one. Delayed Howling Metron. Oh, okay, that's like the electrified one. Yeah. Howling Metron MS Processing. Oh, this is Bedman all over again. Just bizarre names for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. 
Uh, Metron Scream at 808, a projectile forward. Oh yeah, I was using that one quite a lot. Metron Arpeggio? Oh yeah, that's... Oh, I don't think I got that one, actually. Maybe I needed to use one of my, um, other inputs to get that one. Same with that one, I saw other, other Oscars using it, but I didn't get that one during my play. Metron. Oh, I think I did use that one. That looks familiar. I'm curious what language this is, because some of this some of this stuff recognizes Italian, like arpeggio. But I don't think it's Italian. Maybe it is. Maybe it's Latin. I I, I could say that being a thing Oscar does. Oh yeah, I was using this one quite a bit. Yep. Uh, and I got a bunch of that one too. Did you? Oh, okay. Get back to the spell list, please. I want to keep looking. Go down. <laughs> Go to marker. Vanishes from his current position and teleports. Oh, okay. Okay. Sample 404. The next spell you use. Oh, you can duplicate your next spell by casting that. That's nice. Chaotic option. Changes into a random spell. A powerful spell regardless of the current test case. Oh, right, yeah. Um, I think the way it works. Where's the test case stuff? Here we go. I believe the way it works is Asuka basically has three decks. Uh, and you can swippy swap between each of each of them using this input. Uh, and then when you're like setting new spells, they'll be from the current deck. And I think that I think like there are some that are more powerful than other ones or something like that. I'm down HS. I don't know how to tell if that's doing anything. So I can see it making a little icon thing, but I don't know what effect that's having. Uh, and then I can use bookmark. Danger. Mess with my spells and get different stuff out. Neat. Uh, and there's also... I wanted to check the command for this one. Okay, P or K. Challenge is a standard, like, mega projectile. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, that little, um, symbol floating up out of my book is the changing test case. Oh, okay. Uh, if you watch the number on my mana bar... You can see it changes when I switch test cases to indicate which one I'm using. I think there's like a graph somewhere that this lists like what's in each one. Uh, and they all have different spells in them. Ah, there you go. How you get that thing? Apparently that. <laughs> okay, so basically you have three separate decks, uh, and you can switch between them, and you have these four, like, spaces in your hand, and you can draw new cards from... to fill those spaces. Um... I'm curious what happens if you run out entirely. It's kind of hard to input. But yeah, I feel like there's, th there's 30 in each. I'm guessing it probably just resets once you've used them all up, but 
there's a good chance you won't use them all up because these matches are usually pretty quick when you're not just sitting here and testing things out. <laughs> Okay, so that's the, yeah, that's the low gravity stuff. Yeah, as you can see, they're going... Okay. Yeah, this is a vastly more complicated character than nearly anyone else in the game. <laughs> I think pretty much anyone else in the game, this period, honestly. Because, yeah, you have your mana, which you need to refill. Uh, you also have a hand of four cards, essentially. Uh, but you can refill individually, like so, but you can also switch which deck you're drawing cards from. <laughs> it's so complicated, I love it. Oh, no wonder I had no idea what I was doing, it's so complicated. <laughs> But yeah, you, you just get used to the fact that, like, it's punch kick slash heavy slash with practice. That, that's not, that's like the least of your worries compared to, like, remembering what's in each of the three decks you can switch between and how much stuff is going to be left in them as you're playing. <laughs> oh, wow, they just, they, they just, they just put, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh character in the game. <laughs> I really like his grab, I think it looks really cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, playing Oscar effectively is going to be so complicated. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to I'm going to call out a video now. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope my like extremely amateur play of this character wasn't too bad. In fairness, like I had never seen this character before. I hadn't actually watched through the getting started guides and stuff, so I had no idea what I was doing. Um, but uh, I had a good time, and that's pretty much all that matters. Uh, and yeah, I don't think I'm gonna main Asuka. As much as I love him, and as beautiful as his little kitty ears are, um, I feel like that might be a little much. Then again, I am curious to learn Jackie because I love her too, and she's probably about as complicated. A little bit simpler. She's got kind of an RTS thing going on almost with her little robot friends. <laughs> and then over there we've got Sin, who just hits people with flag, and that's his whole game plan. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>